Wow, that's too deep, man. We only got three minutes. Jeez. It's one of the most delicate questions uh, in terms of power that you're raising. That's a very good question, whether or not my campaigning has had a success of me as a leader. I would think so. This question uh, about making your choice of personal advisors or secretaries is one of the most important ones to think of as leaders. When I took over Ford, I absolutely made decisions rooted in our family heritage, our values, that really is the culture of Ford. The original is a manager philosophy is decentralized empowerment. I'm very pleased that when we talk about leadership, that more company leaders are aware of the importance of the customer, because I've always stressed that your thinking and planning should be from the customer back to the company, not from the company back to the customer. That's a hard one. Um, being a, a leader and being popular uh, are kind of a struggle. But I feel that the reason why I am asked to be a record producer is because everyone else is afraid to make decisions. You ask me how I uh, keep my integrity, mental integrity, with all the people around me who said, oh, Philip Stark is a star, Philip Stark is a genius, and something like that. There is two ways to do that. Well, I certainly think that the, the use of scapegoats is a possible option which has its attractions in competitive politics of today, as it had in Machiavelli's day. There is no way that uh, I can identify myself with management by fear or intimidation. It's my, my, one of my favorite um, uh, subjects because I'm such an absolutely strong believer in management by love. When I hire an executive, I look for integrity first because when it comes to his job, I can teach him his job, but I can't teach him integrity. Basically, it's, it's a lot of hard work, and to be the best in the world, it's, it's a long way to go, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> these, are, uh, these are difficult questions. Uh, 